now let us discuss about simplification of boolean expressions using a four variable karnaf map in this video we are going to discuss uh, uh, these three examples uh, first let us see how we can draw the table uh, here we have four variables we have to write the first two, two variables such as a b on the left hand side and c d on the right hand side the possible combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so likewise here also 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 let us observe about this cell this cell represents 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 in decimal notation is 0 so this cell represents 0 min term and we can write this as a bar b bar c bar d bar let us observe about this cell this cell represents 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 in decimal notation is 3 so this cell represents third min term and this cell means a bar b bar c d so likewise let's see what is this cell this cell represents 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 in decimal notation is 13 so this cell represents 13 min term and we can represent as a b c bar d so likewise we can represent one by one let us solve the first problem uh, sigma sigma means sum operation m means min terms so all these are the min terms 2 6 7 so in two cell we have written one next 6 7 next 9 13 and 15 so already the table is completely mapped so now we have to form the pairs so here while performing the pairing we need to follow some rules here always the group should be in the powers of 2 here the map totally contains 16 cells so first we need to search for the group which contains 16 cells if it is not available then we have to search for 2 power 3 8 cells if it is not available then we have to search for the lower order 2 power 2 4 cells otherwise 2 cells otherwise we have to make one cell as the group if the group contains more number of ones then it should then the expression should contain less number of variables or less number of literals so here our aim is we have to produce that means uh, the simplified expression should contain less number of terms where each term contains minimum number of variables or literals if we observe this problem so what we can do we can make these two adjacent cells as a pair and then and then we can make these two adjacent cells as a pair then we can make two these two adjacent cells as a pair if we want what we can do we can make these two adjacent cells as a pair and these two adjacent cells as a pair but if we pair them then we will get two more terms but our aim should be the expression should contain minimum number of terms so here it is covering all the ones so this is the simplified expression so let us write the uh, terms here simplified expression if we observe this pair so 1 1 1 0 so 1 is common so 1 means the value of a whereas b changing from 1 to 0 so there is no need to consider that so a a next this is nothing but 0 1 0 1 means c d so we can write as c bar d c bar d so next if we observe this pair 0 1 1 1 so second variable is common what is second variable 1 whereas a is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider that so 1 means the value of b so we can write as b next this pair is nothing but 1 1 so 1 1 means c d next let us observe this pair 0 0 0 1 the first value is common what is the first value a value so a value is 0 whereas b is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider b 
So A is uh, common. A is 0 means we can write as A bar. Next 1 0. 1 0 means we can write as C D bar. C D bar. 1 0 means C D bar. So now let us see the second example. Let us see the second example. Uh, so 0 second example. 0 2 3 7. So 0 2 3 this L is 7. Uh, next 11 13 14 15. Uh, so 15 14 11 and this is nothing but uh, yeah yeah this is nothing but uh, uh, 11 so already this is mapped so this uh, the problem is mapped so the con of map contain all the values now we have to perform the pairing we have to perform the grouping uh, so if we observe uh, this uh, uh, table so what we can do what we can do uh, here we have uh, one so this one should be combined with this one only so we can make these two adjacent cells as a group as a pair so next what we can do uh, here we have one more one we can combine this one only with its adjacent cell so we can make these two one as a group so next we have four ones if you observe this column we have four ones so what we can do we can make these four adjacent cells as a group so next here we have one here we have one zero zero one zero or nothing but adjacent cells only we know what are adjacent cells adjacent cells means they should be differ by only one variable if we observe zero zero one zero so these two are differ by only this variable that is a whereas b is same only the second variable is same only so we can call these two as the adjacent cells so we can make these two adjacent cells as a group so this is the solution uh, so let us write the expressions now uh, first let us focus on this one 0 0 so 0 0 means we can write as a bar b bar uh, next here uh, 0 0 1 0 what is the common value second 0 is the common value what is second 0 d value so d is 0 means we can write as d bar plus if you observe this group here the values are changing so there is no need to consider this one whereas 1 1 is nothing but cd value so we can write here cd plus here we have two pairs what is the first pair 1 1 so 1 1 means a b whereas if we observe these two adjacent cells second value is common what is second value d value so we can write here as d plus if we observe these two adjacent cells so 1 1 1 1 if we observe these two cells first one is common what is 1 c so a b c so this is the simplified expression for this problem now let us solve the uh, third problem uh, sigma m of 0 2 3 5 7 8 10 11 14 15 so already that uh, map is uh, the table is mapped so now we have to form the groups so if we observe here uh, we can make these opposite cells as a group we can make these opposite cells as a group so what is the expression for that uh, 0 0 1 0 so what is common second value is common so what is second value b bar so we can write as b bar uh, next this cell and this cell 0 0 uh, 0 0 1 0 yeah here 0 is common so b bar if you observe this, these two cells 0 0 1 0 so second 0 is common so second 0 means d bar d bar next if we observe this cell if we observe this cell so we have to combine this one with the remaining ones so what we can do now we can make these four cells as a group we can make these four cells as a group why because if the group contains four ones then it produce minimum number of variables okay uh, so let us write the expression here 1 1 1 0 so first one is common what is first one a a next 1 1 1 0 what is common first one is common what is first one c c so next what are the remaining ones here we have 1 1 so we need to combine this one with this one only why because we have only these adjacent cells so we can make these two adjacent cells as a pair so here what is the term here 0 1 so 0 1 means a bar b 0 1 means a bar b uh, 
uh, various if we observe here second one is common what is second one d d plus next we have to cover this one so how we can cover this one so we can make these four adjacent cells as a group why because instead of two ones if we make the group as four ones then the term should contain minimum number of variables or literals we can make these four cells as a group or we can make these two cells these two cells that means these four cells as a group it is our choice we can use one of the method one of the pair i am i am doing i am making these four cells as a group so if we want we can make these two these two so these four as a group okay uh, if we make this one then what is the term here one one so one one means cd so in this way we can solve any problem with the help of the karnov map in the next video we will see some more examples on the four variable karnov map